100 greatest moments in Utah basketball history. Utes in the Big Apple. In 1947, the National Collegiate Basketball Champion was crowned in Madison Square Garden. We're in Madison Square Garden in New York City. In cooperation with the University of Utah, is mighty happy to bring you that exclusive play-by-play -play account of the finals in the 10th Invitational Basketball Tournament between the Utes of the University of Utah and the University of Kentucky. The highly favored Wildcats were number one seed in the NIT, the Utes the number eight seed, and had won their first game with Duquesne by only one point, their second with West Virginia by two, while Kentucky had breezed to the final game. But the Blitz kids from the West were the New York crowd favorite. Coach Vadel Peterson used only six players, Leon Watson, Vern Gardner, Watt Masaka, Arnie Farron, Fred Widener, and Lyman Clark. Down together and it's stolen away by Masaka. Here's Masaka on a quick break, dribbles down, but once he gets into Utah territory, he stops, holds it up, waits for Farron. Here's Farron's push shot in. While Farron and Big Vern shared offensive chores, it was the defensive play of Watt Masaka that captivated the crowd. Watt held Kentucky's leading scorer, Ralph Beard, to just one point as Utah won by four, 49 to 45. Vern Gardner, the MVP, and the Big Apple belonged to the Utes.